Greetings fellow Clashers. Welcome to my very first episode of Clash of Clans. Today I have a Tunnel 10 Warbase that I would like to show you. I found this Warbase when I was searching through the guys in my league. He, he had great defenses so I decided I'll copy down his base. I've amended it, made it my own and I'll explain to you what I've changed and things like that when, you, when we go through the, the replays. Um, feel free to copy this base, just hit the pause button and give it a go. I mean, hopefully it works as, as good for you as what it did for me. I'm still using this war base and I think I'll still use it for a couple more wars. However, I do like to change my war bases quite frequently. Um, try what's new out there. It, it helps me also with my attacks. So, because one day I'm going to come across bases like this. So, might as well know what's going on. Anyway, let's get into these replays and let's hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so here's the first replay. We, this guy comes in with 12 level 5 dragons, a 17 archer queen, a heal spell, 3 rage, 1 freeze, 1 poison. He drops his clan castle, there they go, a couple of level 5 and level 6 archers, and a level 3 dragon. I don't know what that's all about. There comes my lava hunt. Great thing to have in the clan castle uh, these days. I mean, the poison just does not kill them that fast. So there goes my lava and pops. Look, look at all those little pups. They go crazy over these dragons and just completely distracts them. There comes my testers, expos, everything is going at these dragons. There goes the first freeze, good freeze, taking out three defenses. And one of the things that I did change with this base is I put all the balloons to the left hand side to avoid these air attacks um, because I started dropping all the air attacks from that side and trying to avoid the air defenses down on the right hand side. So back to this, as you can see, his queen's about to go, the royal cloak's gone, she has no chance. The expos and the infernos, testers, everything all over the dragons and they had no chance at all. Alright, so let's get into the second replay and show you what this base can do. We've got a go wipe attack. Um, he's got four golems going in. He's got a level 24 king, 37 queen, 2 rage, 1 jump, 2 freeze, 1 poison. There goes down his wizards, a couple of wall breakers, his pecker. There comes his clan castle. He's got another pecker in the clan castle as well as a few archers. More wall breakers going down. He, he gets into that core, well not the core, the, the second wall. He makes his way in there. My infernos are going. He's, dropped his jump spell. My king's come over to distract him, so that's quite good. There goes his freeze, taking out an inferno, an expo, and one tesla. Down goes a rage. Here comes my clan castle troops. I got a hound and a balloon. That is my go-to thing at the moment. That's all I ask for in my clan castle. So everything's going off in the center. There goes my, my hound. All the little pups taking on a couple of golems there by the looks of it and they, they seem to be doing really well because there's nothing really that can take them on over there. The queen has gone over to the right hand side. She's already used the royal cloak so there's not really much that she can she can do. Although nothing's really going for her at the moment so she, she might be in a bit of luck to be honest with you. There we go she's going for the expo there goes the lava pups towards her she drops down a rage. The testers are going for her. The, the pups are actually the Euro pup. There we go. Killed her. <laughs> nice one, little pup. All right, there we go. He sends in his last couple of wizards. And what else have we got? We got one more wizard. No, he's all gone. Those are gone. And he's got one archer left, and 46%. Don't know what he's gonna do yet. Where is he gonna go? Where is he gonna go? Come on, decisions, decisions. This is always a difficult one. I hate this when it happens to me. Oh, there we go, at the top, trying to take on the camp. There goes my water. Goodbye! Alright, so let's get into the third replay. This one, we've got to go wipe attack again. He's, he doesn't have both his heroes, he's missing his king. Now, there goes his earthquakes. Very smart move. Now, I've kind of moved these walls a little bit compared to what they were to try avoid this from happening again. So, down goes the jump spell. Three golems, couple of wizards. And oh, no, more golems coming from the top side, another three. So that's six golem attack with a giant. All his wizards are down, more giants going down. This is doing fairly well. There goes down his queen. My hand is out. It's all over those golems at the moment. My balloon's on its way. It's a bit slow, but you get the point. 
There we go, Inferno Towers are going, Expos are going. The hand is still up, that hand is such a beast. Alright, down goes the Rage spell, the Queen is moving slightly towards the core, the Freeze spell goes down, not the greatest of Freeze, only takes out the Inferno and one Expo. You could have dropped that a bit better and taken out those two testers at the same time. The Queen is on her way into the core, testers are going, oh, Royal Cloak is now gone. We've got the golems going around the sides. The lava pups are still going on in those golems. The queen is just about to go down. There's no way she's going to get the tunnel. Down she goes. Now all we have left is a couple of golems. Unfortunately, he did get the 50%, which is okay by me because it's still not a two-star. Well, there we go. There goes down his last hand, and that is it. That's all he's going to get, 53%. Guys, give this base a go. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Keep on clashing. Cheers.